San Angelo, Texas, of course, was always called the wool capital of the world. So this has always been a traditional wool trading area. The smell and touch of wool is a natural, beautiful product. So basically, wool comes in here in the holding area, number one unit. I'm fortunate that my kids want to be in this business, and I'm still learning. I've been in it close to 40 years now, and so I'm still learning every day. It only takes a few seconds inside this old San Angelo building to understand this must be where noise, dust, and summer heat come to stay. For Terry Martin and his family, every gallon of water, every moving part, has purpose, reaching far beyond that nonstop roar of churning massive metal. We are the caretakers of, of a very, very interesting business. My wife, Jackie Martin, and then we have my oldest daughter, Erin, and this is Ronan right there, and my second daughter, Molly Kate Martin. How are you? And this is Haynes Burnside, her fiance, and he's been he's been working. So we got the, the this generation, the next generation, right. and the next generation. There's been five generations in the business. Wool is a family business. Always has been. You really have to go back to Carol McDonald. And Carol McDonald uh, was a rancher in right outside of Menard, Texas, and he had a ranch and started a wool warehouse called McDonald Wool Company. And uh, he had two sons, uh, Don McDonald and Wiley McDonald, which is my wife's father. You might say Terry Martin married into this world of wool. Despite the hard work, long hours, and brutal environment, Somewhere along the way, they moved the family operation to San Angelo. But there was that greater sense of purpose that attracted Terry and has trickled down through the generations. You'll receive $430 a month while you serve your country. Every dress uniform, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and Coast Guard all start right here in San Angelo, Texas. And it has to be U.S. It has to be U.S. wool because we're protected by the Berry Amendment, which legislation started in 1941, December 8th, 1941. It's always been a little known and profoundly humbling fact that the Martin family's anodyne wool operation has been the sole provider of fiber for every American military dress uniform for more than seven decades. Of course, this is the, the, the finished product is, is this uh, dress uniform. That's the finished product right there. This happens to be my, my daughter's husband, uh, but he was in Afghanistan and Iraq, and that was his uniform when he was, when he was there. That's a family member's uniform. There you go. That yeah. was made yeah. with wool that yeah. went through this whole process. Exactly, exactly, a big circle. The Rambouillet sheep that graze across hundreds of West Texas ranch pastures are sheared once a year. Much of that raw wool is shipped to the Martin family warehouse, where towering bales are carefully scrutinized for just the right fibers, destined for a daunting patriotic gesture. I remember in elementary school, a friend of mine, her mom spun wool. Right. And I remember her bringing the sheep to the school. We sheared the sheep. Right. And we got to see the whole process. And I've never forgotten that. Well, it's 6,000 years old. You know, the, the sheep, you know, the first thing you got to do is take care of your, your, your feed yourself and then uh, shelter and clothing. And so it's it's there. They've been using wool for over six, 7,000 years. And know. it's totally sustainable. Because these totally sheep just keep on producing. Producing and, and it's biodegradable. So when, when this garment is ever put into the ground, it it's basically goes back to the ground. You know, and, and you put polyester or something like that, you know, dig it up a thousand years later. It's polyester. And it's still polyester. It's just still oil, still petroleum. So, so that's what the beauty of wool is. This building is 55,000 square feet, it's 300 feet, which is Dallas Cowboys could, could have old scrimmages here. So we can stack five to 10 million pounds of wool in here. We don't want to put that much in there, but it is a massive building. When there are people driving down the road and they see sheep out in the pasture, what do you want them to take away from seeing those sheep? Well, that 
those sheep are the beginning of a great story. Those sheep are the beginning of a process that'll end up being a U.S. military dress uniform, you know. And that's, that's a pretty cool story, you know. I mean, as you're driving down the road, you know, and, and they don't know that, the back of that sheep's going to end up into a, a dress uniform in our U.S. military. And I, I think that's cool. And it all started right here. Right here in San Angelo, Texas, yeah. What, what makes me feel good, because I've enjoyed this business for 40 years, and, and it really makes me feel good. One, that my family enjoy this business as much as I do. And two, that our business that we built is going to be in, in good hands for at least, at least the next 100 years. And, and you know, being a four or 5,000 year old business, you know, that's a short period of time, but they're going to be able to do it. I think it's also important that, you know, all service members killed in action or veterans who have passed away, a lot of them choose to be buried in their dress uniform. And I think that that speaks volumes about how important it is what we do, that, you know, that is the thing that they, the last outfit they ever want to wear. And I think it's important that it's a duty that we get to take seriously. And I, I, I love that about this business. I watch our wool being spun into yarn and woven into that olive drab or that Air Force blue. You know, it's, it makes you real proud of it, and it, it's very satisfying. We're not actually making that fabric, but we started the process. It all begins. It all begins right here in San Angelo, Texas, in our family, yeah. Following in the footsteps of his in-laws, Terry Martin has raised his family right smack dab in the thick of the wool business. They join him shoulder to shoulder in the daily buying, selling, and promoting what's been called nature's miracle fiber. It's a fascinating thought that when the military shows its Sunday best, it comes from the raw wool gathered, graded, and cleaned right here in San Angelo. That's a legacy Terry will always hold close to his heart. We choose to be here in, in San Angelo, Texas, you know, because this is where we started and, you know, this is where um, our roots are, this is where our family is, and this is where the history is, most importantly. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.